the Pope welcomed 16 non-resident ambassadors to the Vatican's Clementine Hall, and one by one they presented their credentials before Pope Francis. Different cultures and even languages came together to represent their country before the Holy See, and the Pope even got to practice his French. And also his native Spanish. And just months away from the Pope's trip to the Holy Land, Palestine's ambassador Ahmad Rashid also presented his credentials. I'm honored to present you my credentials on behalf of the Holy Land of the Palestinian people and the President. Among the diplomats were ambassadors from Jordan, Kuwait, Sweden, Pakistan, Malta, Sierra Leone, Norway, and Denmark. The Pope called on all of them to help stop human trafficking, adding that governments have the power to prevent it. Quanti sono di buona volontà, che si professino religiosi o no, non possono permettere che queste donne, questi uomini, questi bambini vengano trattati come oggetti ingannati, violentati, spesso venduti più volte, volte per scopi diversi e alla fine uccisi o comunque rovinati nel fisico e nella mente per finire scartati e abbandonati. È una vergogna. The Pope described human trafficking as a crime against humanity. He called on all ambassadors to join forces to prevent it, adding it's not just a matter of justice, security or finances, but above all, he said, it's about human dignity. Noi cristiani riconosciamo il volto di Gesù Cristo, che si è identificato con i più piccoli e bisognosi. He then added that human trafficking is not only modern slavery, but also a global problem that affects all countries, even the most developed.